So in this scenario, we have a marshmallow placed in the pipe. It's a, it becomes a blow, a blow gun or a blow dart. The person blows in it, like so. And the marshmallow is going to accelerate and leave. The average net force is 0.7 Newton, and we want to know the speed as it leaves the pipe. So we have a distance, we have a force, we have, and we're looking for a velocity. We have a mass. So we got mass, a delta x, we have a force, and we're looking for a v. So there's a force being applied for a certain length of time. So we might look at our momentum as a four-way equivalent. So we have F delta T equals J equals delta P equals M delta V. Now we know the force. We know the mass. We are looking for delta V. So somehow we would need to get <clears throat> the delta T. Well, we also know that F net equals ma so we know and we know the net force we know the mass so that means we could find the acceleration well if we have the acceleration, we want to tie in this delta x is what's going to be de determining this here. We have x equals 1 half at squared plus v0 t plus x0. And x minus x0 is delta x. And the initial velocity is 0. So we know delta x. We can find a. That could give us t. And we could end up solving for delta V. So delta X we know is 0 0.40. And the acceleration, 0 0.7, is 0 0.0025A. So A is 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.0025. And that is has a value of 280. So we have 0 0.80 equals 280 t squared. So t is the square root of 0 0.80 over 280. And that gives us a time of 0 0.05345. So then delta V up here is F delta T over M. The force is 0.7. The delta T is 0 0.05345. And the mass is 0 0.0025. And that gives us a delta V of 14.96, which is about 15 meters per second. There might be other more expedient ways to do that using some other um, approaches, but this keeps it the most simple.